Yeah. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. That that picture is actually you. <laughs> it really is. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit. Leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain two charms. <laughs> I'm not sure about you guys, but I think she's happy. Yeah. I don't know what gave you that impression. Do you see Damien about to punch some noob? When suddenly a dimensional portal opens between the two of them. Hey, what the hell? I was just about to punch that noob. There will be plenty of noobs to punch, my fearsome paramour, when you are mine. What? I have traveled across time and space to find a fit commander for my armies and for my bedroom. Uh, oh, you want me to come over to your kingdom so we can kill people and fuck? I wouldn't put it quite so crassly. Well, I would. That sounds like <laughs> doper than hell, which isn't hard because hell is lame, but still. But if Damien goes to another dimension to fuck and kill people, how will he fucking kill people with you? There's only one thing to do. Defeat the prince's entire shitty army using nothing but a um, colander and a grapefruit. Show Damien a picture of the prince's army wearing clown shoes and assless chaps. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta think. What would Damien like? I think she means she's looking up the answer. No, I'm not! No, I'm watching her. He and she's like... watching Damien, so it's kind of sad. Oh, Damien! <laughs> so oh, F in the chat for my boy Damn. anymore. Uh... Let's see... I don't really know. Just close your eyes. So far, we all, got, we all got something wrong. I got it! What's your choice? With your trusty <laughs> calm now and furious group, you charge through the rift. The prince's army turns out to be three dudes, and one of those is just two toddlers in a coat. You strain the shit out of them, squeeze creatures <laughs> into their wounds, and toss what's left into a volcano. And what's more, you livestream the entire thing for Damien to walk home. And when you get back, he's applauding. Holy shit, that wicked! I've never seen someone be so, um... Gratuitous? Gratuitous. Gratuitous? Yeah. <laughs> With a grapefruit. <laughs> Close enough. <sighs> Screw this inter interdimensional a-hole. I want you to teach me about using limes as an offensive weapon. The prince slinks back into his kingdom to recruit a new shitty army. While you teach Damien the mysteries of Citrus Fu, you gain two charm and one bonus. And this, people, is why you never give flesh golems a soul. <laughs> Everybody, what chooses a movie, say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Oh, this, we always did this for oh, wait, wait, hold on. We have Don't to click say it yet. Now. We have this... to say it right now. Right yeah. now? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, 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 Harry Potter 4, Goblet of Fire. Okay. Choose something else. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll choose a random movie. Random movie. Mega Mind. <laughs> random. The B movie. Okay. Okay. Uh, what Alan. about you, Alan? I said Shrek. Cool. Oh, you said Shrek. I'll use Dull Mind actually. I wanted to choose. Oh, Shrek. did you say Shrek? No, I, I said Mega Mind. Okay. Uh, that click. Right. Yes. Yeah. Player order is decided based on how hard it would be to explain the selected movie to an <sighs> old person. An old person, huh? Yeah, you said I what? I think wouldn't be that hard because it's like you describe it as Superman, but not. <laughs> yeah. It's like Superman. No, it's like. How did I explain it? Superman actually? from the villain's perspective. Yeah. Would it be Superman? To be like, what if the bad guy wanted to be Superman? Or I forget what the bad guy is in Superman. 
which oh, one Metro Man's like five thousand. Metro Man. Yeah. No, no. I mean, like an actual like Superman. Like, who is the en- who is like the main enemy in Superman? There's like five thousand. I guess Lex Luthor, big bald guy. So I guess that makes sense for Mega Mind. Like, what if he wanted to become Superman? Yeah. There you go. Now. If Lex Luthor wanted to be Superman, that that actually kind of makes sense, huh? <laughs> I mean, would would an old person know that? Like, probably. Yeah, of course. Do you know how old like Superman is? Mm-hmm. Like my mom my, probably read Superman comics more than you have. Yeah, my grandma loves like Superman and like all the other. Uh, I know. I'm just trying to defend my case more or less, but I, I already, I already I know see. the outcome. A uh, B movie. How would you expect a bee falls in love with a human and saves the bees? Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> easy, I think. Shrek. Oh God. Good fucking uh, luck, kid. An ogre and a donkey go rescue a princess, and then they marry. Hey, and hey, then there's the... Harry dragon. Potter. Wizard boy gets a cup. No, a bunch of nerds waving sticks. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of nerds waving sticks try to get a cup. <laughs> Listen, we we all all of us here understand that Shrek is the most intricate and most deep historical figure that we have. Random our... it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go for it, yeah. Hey, Sadness. I'm second. I am third. Sadness. <laughs> Sadness. What did that gain us? Yeah, man. Um, so now it changes the order when we get to pick. So especially in this, when you pick someone, no, no one can choose like what you pick, right? Right. So because of that, um, you know, it's like it, you if you go first, you get yet. the choice of everything. <laughs> So because Damien, <clears throat> you find Scott and Damien shoveling hot dogs and mashed potatoes into their mouth, while Coach cheers them on. Go, boys, go! Munch your way to victory. Ah, uh, there's no truer sport than an eating contest. Tenth crotch. Uh, have let me eat. It looks like it's a pretty fair fight so far, but where's the fun in that? Time to step in and tip the balance. Distract Scott with surprise fireworks. Slather Damien's dogs in holy ketchup. But then that would hurt Damien! Oh. And distract... Yeah, That's you want Damien, right? Picking. <laughs> uh... you're, you're choosing which one of you you want to lose. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that was the obvious option. I think. <laughs> you act as what if it was hell? a surprise. Yeah, you act as if it was a surprise that that would like Scott losing would make Damien go be happy. You know. Like, but... What the hell? You're planning on setting off those fireworks in here anyway. You let them rip. Hey, hey, hey! Stop that! Who did that? Who's making noise? I'm yelling because I'm scared. They found us, Scott! The vehicle! Oh, Lordy! It's never over again! Oh, no. <laughs> Scott and Coach flee the cafeteria. Damien lets out a sigh full of equal parts relief and mashed potatoes. Ugh, thanks. I was just eating like I normally do when these two idiots came over and turned it into a sport. It's not my fault I eat so fast. I've got a literal furnace in my stomach. Damien lets you have some of his half-chewed hot dogs. Nice! Some would say that's almost like making out with him! Wow. <laughs> Sharing He's hot right dogs before there. marriage? How could you? That's even that's stooping even lower than premarital eye contact. <laughs> I know, Jesus. Yeah. I have money. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot that number one. Yeah, All right, that snake lady looks like she likes making money. Vera's about to lift a glass of scotch. To... Wait, why is there scotch in school? Because she's like twenty-three. Remember? But this is and, school. And it's also monster high. And monsters can't be can't you know be older than human. That's, okay, that's racist, man. Yeah, that's monsterist. Immaculately painted her lips. You can drink whatever at the school, apparently. When Miranda screams, stop! Don't drink that. 
Why not? The scotch costs more <laughs> than most cars. Has your taster tried it yet? What taster? You don't have a taster? What if your drink is poisoned by some gel someone jealous of your good looks and royal title? Listen, Mary, I only drink four things. Scotch, red wine, the tears of my enemies, and straight up poison. You drink poison on purpose. Miranda, my hair is venomous snakes. You think poison actually harms me? Well, well, you should still have a taster. What if someone puts really spicy hot sauce in your drink? Or spicy poison? Juice. <laughs> or poison. Hot juice? <laughs> spicy juice. <laughs> Sp sp spicy juice? Yeah. Do you elaborate? Yeah, man. What? Yeah. El elaborate. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Nice, bye, bye, bye. Coolio, my guy. <laughs> this might be the big break you've been looking for. You raise your hand, and when Vera picks, picks you... Well, who do you want more, a princess or the snake? Both of them seems rich. <laughs> That's very true. More, the genocidal princess or the rich snake. The conniving snake. I'm, you're Asian, shouldn't you like... I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> finish it. No balls. Genocide. <laughs> what do you want? Snake or fish? Go. Good choice. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> you shoot Vera a wink. Take the tiniest sip of her scotch and then... Nope, nope. Stop vomiting! How will you be able to taste for poison if you're too busy foaming in the mouth and vomiting? You fool! He is poisoned! Run and tell the authorities before this poor sap's face melts off or something. But you, but, but you don't have a face. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Oh dear! Oh my! How do you take a sip? I'm no good in a crisis in crisis situations. Curse my unformally pleasant childhood. Miranda faints with the utmost drama. <laughs> if there's one thing princesses are good at, it's fainting. <laughs> ha ha ha! That was hilarious. I should put poison in my scotch more often. You can stop vomiting now. By the way, she passed out. Oh, do you, do you need the antidote? All right, here you go. Oh, it was poison. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I guess I should have let you let you know the scotch was actually poisoned. Oh well. How about we get ice cream to make up for it? Your stomach's still too weak for ice cream, but but you're never too sick to spend more quality time with Vera. Soup. Who's that? That's uh, the shop. shop lady. Which I'm so sad they're not an option Is that the to nerd? talk. Yes. Because I like how, a kitty. How smart I am? I'm pretty smart. Do you like smart people? He has glasses. I have glasses. I think they're all a personality. Uh, one of your stats, aren't they? Probably. Uh, okay. When you arrive at their table, you find that Polly and Liam aren't eating. They're just taking pictures of their food. Welcome to the don't need to eat, so we just take dope food pics zone, baby. We believe that food, like heavy construction machinery, should be seen and not tasted. Yeah, I mean, have you ever tasted heavy construction machinery? Have you? I don't know, maybe. My weekends are usually kind of a blur, so like last Saturday. There will be plenty of time to chron chronicle your uh, sex points later, Polly. Right now, we need to focus on these food picks. While Liam and Polly were busy bantering, you were busily arranging a dope food pick on your of your own. And now, to complete your masterpiece, a food pick. But instead of a food pick, it's just a bottle of whiskey with ketchup on it. A food pick of Liam taking a food pick. So meta. Well, who do you want? Paul here, Liam. Oh, yeah, it's like a choose between. Uh, 
Are, are you trying to regain your reputation fuck. with the ghosts, or? Oh yeah, I did fucked up that. Huh? Or do you yeah. want to just give up on be her? Cool friends with her. Oh my god, yes. I love liquid lunch. Wait, but you don't eat or drink. That's why I allowed you at my extremely cool food pick table. How do you even drink liquor? Duh. I'm making a live person drink it, and then I possess them, and I sunk the drunkness. I, I suck the drunkness out of them, obviously. I suppose that's not too terribly dis uh, dissimilar to how I get drunk. By the way, but 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 why? Why put ketchup on the whiskey bottle? Um, so it counts as food. You can you can't just drink a bottle of whiskey without ketchup on it for lunch. That wouldn't be a meal. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you can't argue with that logic. Nor do you want to. Because then how would you justify getting drunk at lunchtime? Fine, I'm going to go hang out with the church lady. Is she a church lady? I think so. She doesn't She's look a like a church lady. I don't remember. <clears throat> or it's the... No, it's, it's just one of the church ladies, I think. <clears throat> You're enjoying your meal in peace when you hear the unmistakable sound of three throats clearing. Why do I remember things? <clears throat> ahem, ahem, ahem. That is a yeah, big titty goth GF, if I ever seen one. As you know, it is customary for a benevolent witch coven to have, as an ally, church witch, same thing. Oh, as she's a witch? A benevolent creature of some sort. And since Liam has apparently decided he's too cool for us now, I mean, because of your incredible resume and good looks, we've decided to accept you on a trial basis as a supernatural companion for one adventure. Adventure not to exceed three episodes or eclipse to the main plot arc. That's as a consideration better. for your willing participation, we'll even allow you your chance of adventures. Three episodes. You can knock out one of these adventures by the end of lunch. It actually sounds fun. The Coven gives you two options. Uh, stop the crime and... Stop, help. Stop the crime ghost who's been taking over children's bodies and using them to rob banks. You have a never-before-seen plan. Ugh. Take on the greatest villain of all. Income inequality. Ah, uh, mm. yes, income inequality. <laughs> one of my favorite topics. Man, but crime goes sound fun! It's your game, man. <clears throat> you put a stop to the crime ghost crime in the only way you know how. With fake beards. It's working! Now that all the children have fake beards, the crime ghost can't tell there are children. He's got no one to possess. Yep, that was totally your plan. You definitely didn't just start slapping beards on kids and hope for the best. <laughs> Excellent! The day is saved once again, thanks to the coven and our faithful sidekick, Sin. Mm -hmm. What's that? You want to know about payment? We're sorry, but the contract clearly states that this is an unpaid internship. The contract does say that. Oh well. At least you gain plus four creativity for your lateral thinking. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You got a bunch of creativity. 